Hello everyone, I am Chester44 and welcome to this let's play of Geneforge 2. We've just started and just gone through the first area, and now that we have, it's time to take a look at the next area, which is the Dry Peak Gates, way down here. Yeah. Not really much to this game, is there? I mean, there's all this black area, and all we got is down here. Then again, it is just going to be a fairly simple mission. I mean, we just go into Dry Peak, talk to the two shapers there, and leave. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. Let's see here. As you walk along the dusty road, you realize that Shanti has gotten well ahead of you. You are alone on the road. You suspect that you will have to learn to fight very soon. Oh, there's a couple barrels. A mug. Nothing. And bones. Yeah, nothing in those. Mm. Ahead, you can dimly hear growling and hissing. Excuse me. You also hear what sounds like spell casting. You suspect that Shanti has found some rogues to fight. She's probably enjoying it. There is a building to your right, almost overgrown by the hardy, twisted desert trees. Maybe there's something useful inside. Well, it says what we will find inside. Healing. This is a small shaping chamber. It is in buildings like these that shapers make new creations. They use healing and essence pools to recharge themselves. If you stand next to the pools, you will be healed and energized. Shanti has left some things here for you. There is a healing pod and a shield on the table. Also, there are two books around the corner. And reading them teaches us about making creations and casting spells, which we don't need to know. So, there's the shield. A little healing from when we fought those things. You don't have enough living tools to get that door open. Six. Wow. That or really improve our mechanics. Ah, there's the Fiora. Charge! And we still need five action points in order to attack. Oh, and we leveled up. Yeah, the level up is sounds a bit different now. Oh well. Still, we have enough essence now to, you know, use that thing. Jeez, we're carrying a lot and we're encumbered at 82. And we only, and, yeah, you know what, improve magic shaping a bit, and melee weapons and quick action at five. That's fine. I think we'll probably do something else next time. Another rogue that is now dead. Actually, you know what? God, enemy is visible. Ah, there it is. Okay. Let's see if we can lure it to us. Here, Fiora, 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 Fiora. I guess it didn't see us. Actually, now that I think about it, do we have enough? We do. You know what? It's a shaping hall over there. Let's go into the shaping hall and make our first Fiora. Also know just what I'm going to name it because, well, I'm filming these so far in advance that it would be kind of stupid to wait for people to name it. I'd probably be eight hours in before we got a name, so instead, I'll just name it after various fans and, you know, people who have uh, commented and that I know are watching and enjoy it. By the way, don't ask. If you ask to be put in, you're not going to get it. But for now, let us create our first little creation. Our first Fiora. Noronestia shan oroko monopi namanista shono fior nikomo natia shamonia shari fanita moto. Hello, little Fiora. Welcome. Well, there's even been a graphical upgrade, I think. Still. Now that we have it, maybe we should rename it. I'll rename it later. Let you guys think on what I might rename it. After all, maybe it'll be you. But maybe not. It'll be a surprise. For now... Oh, there's trash over there. I guess that Fiora ran off. Oh, there it is! Char- okay, charge! Oh, we actually managed to reach it. Nice. 
Ah, there's another. Didn't manage to get away. Oh, there's two of them. Okay then. Come, little Fiora. Debut your fire-breathing spells, my little raptor. You could be stronger, damn it. Ah well. You're fresh, you're new, you're inexperienced. You'll get stronger with time. And I'm sure eventually we'll have a little friend to help you out. This small shop has been effectively demolished by the rogues. This is unusually vicious destruction even for a mad creation. The only things left intact are a few pots. Anything inside? Nothing in that one, and... Speed pod. Yeah, that's something. Here's a nest. A living tool and some meat. Urgh. Meat. Me like meat. Ah, there's Shanti. Oh! Shanti's fighting. Okay. Oh. Yeah, Shanti's fighting a lot. Oh my! I should not have charged in. Oh crap! Why did I charge in? Why? Thank you, Shanti. Uh. And I can't use an ability. Oh well, no biggie. Aw, oh, Shanti, you should have left it for our little Fiora. That was not nice. Okay, Shanti, you killed them all. Fine. <sighs> Having rapidly dispatched a cluster of rogues, Shanti turns to you. She hasn't even broken a sweat. I see you dealt with the Fioras I left for you. Good. It is important to know how to defend yourself. However, Apprentice, there is something you should remember. Combat is not the only way to achieve your goals. Stealth and diplomacy work as well. If you wish to avoid battle, I suspect that in practically every case there is a way to. What if the way I want to go is completely blocked by enemies? Then look for a different route! If you find that the obstacles in one area are insurmountable, go elsewhere! In my experience, there is almost never only one route to a goal. Weren't you scared being outnumbered like that? Scared? Of our creations? We are shapers! We are the absolute masters of the life we create! Heaven help us all if it should ever be otherwise! Why are there so many rogues? I do not know, but I am ready to find out. The state of this colony is a disgrace. I'm ready to move on. Good, I am eager to reach Dry Peak. That colony is in a miserable state. I want to know why. Uh, understandable. Yeah, bars of iron are heavy, but... Oh, jeez, they are heavy! They do have a use, though. You'll see later. Yeah, it's improving your skills. We already did. You have reached Dry Peak's Customs Gate. All Shaper settlements have a Customs Gate, where visitors are questioned and searched. Normally, there would be guards here, waiting to stop you and ask about your business. However, there is nobody here. The main gate is closed, the door to the guardhouse off to the side is closed and locked. It doesn't look at the moment like there is any way in. For the first time, you start to wonder if there are any people in Dry Peak at all. To proceed, you will need to find a way to get this gate open. Shanti stands next to the locked door of the customs gate. She looks furious. She twists her tooth necklace absently in her fingers as she thinks about what to do. You know, I'm kind of curious, what is that necklace? Shanti notices that she's toying with it. She drops her hand. Just an innocent piece of jewelry. No special powers. None at all. Only available because of leadership. <laughs> the gate is locked. Isn't it supposed to be guarded? What I want to do is tear this gate down with my bare hands. This is an insult! To leave a gate abandoned like this? In a shaper settlement? Someone is going to answer for this. I'll make sure of that. What are you going to do? Shanti raises an eyebrow. What am I going to do? Well, I'm going to start by standing here. Then I'm going to tell you to look around. Then I'm going to have lunch. Be a good apprentice and see if you can find a way to r around this gate. Run along. Why do I have to do that? Aren't you the one that's, who's supposed to be doing the investigating? Shanti is amused by your insolence, but not very much. <laughs> Remember, student, wisdom and power are only given to those with common sense, such as a sense to obey one's superiors. But if you want to end up spending your life in some backwater maintaining serviles and picking rocks out of your boots, that is your choice. 
Your point is made very clear. Are you sure you want me to go unprotected? I won't be able to serve you well if I'm ambushed and killed. <sighs> I suppose you are right. Your concern is noble, I guess. If you've run into anything you can't handle, lead it back to me. I'll take care of it.